and that's what it looks like. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a DIY fire rope. Stay tuned. Before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone to make sure and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I often say it at the end of the video, but many people don't watch till the end, so it helps the algorithm push that out to even more viewers. Also make sure and check out our website at waypointsurvival.com. This is where we teach survival and bushcraft classes all the way from phase one to phase four, which is our primitive survival and bushcraft class. We have very competitive pricings. We'd really love to have you in a class. Thanks a lot. You're gonna need a few things. First of all, some sort of a tin can, some golf wax, a measuring device. This is an eighth cup. You need some of this Koglin's fire paste and then some of this stearic acid. You're also going to need some sort of a stove and a double boiler. And what this is, this is the gulf wax that we are melting down and making liquid. I've got a glove and a stirring stick and then my ferro rod. All right, on top of that, you're also going to need some jute or sisal rope, of course, natural fiber. So make sure that you have some of that. And this is a 3 8 inch. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut off a few six inch pieces. And so we're gonna say that's about a span or so. So we're just gonna cut that off very carefully. So we're gonna do several of these six inch pieces. Now that we have our gulf wax melted, I'm going to take this and I'm gonna set it to the side. And I'm going to take my empty can here and I'm going to pour some of this melted wax in here. So we're going to put in maybe a half a can full. I'm going to put it back down in here and keep it liquid. All right, so we've got that boiling. Next, we're going to take some of this Coughlin's fire paste. And we're going to squeeze out an eighth of a cup of it. Just like that. I'm going to put it in there just like that so that it will mix in well. So next we're going to put a quarter cup of stearic acid, which is two of these one eighth cup here. Make sure we get it in there. And then we're going to stir this mixture up, making sure that it's completely mixed. We want it to be thoroughly stirred in there and make sure that it's not going to separate on us. You may find that the fire paste does not mix really, really well, so you'll have to stir it for a while and you may still have a few clumps here and there, that's okay. What we want is we want a suspension of it in the gulf wax and the stearic acid together. Once we have that done, and as you can see, it's pretty well stirred up, we're simply going to take our pieces of rope and we're gonna put them down in there and submerge them and let them soak. Of course, you wanna do this carefully so that you don't get burned and just leave that sit in there for a couple of minutes. After they've been in there a few minutes, go ahead and fish them out. Very careful not to drip everywhere. And you want to kind of smooth all this down like this with your fingers. Don't mind the thunder. And then go ahead and pat it dry with a paper towel. When that's done, go ahead and set it aside and let it finish hardening and cooling off. To use it, you simply take the edge of your knife and scrape up a little of this, fluff up the end, and expose some of those fibers, like that. And then, using your ferro rod, go ahead and apply some sparks. And that's what it looks like. That'll burn quite a while makes a really great match. You can stick this in the fire, 
it's waterproof and uh, got quite a bit here and when you buy a whole roll of it you're gonna have enough for lots and lots and lots of fires As you can see it burns really well now when you get ready to put it out of course you can just extinguish it notice it's not easy to put out even when you roll it but if you work out of course you can and now you can light that again and you're ready to go for your next fire this is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, check out the links in the description box below, just under the More button. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take survival and bushcraft classes here at our beautiful training facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.